as I promised the other day, how did I make this? Well, how did I get it flat like this? Since the other ones were a little bit, uh, how's your father? Right, what I did is I got some clamps, got some, got some of this uh, pegboard I had left over from a project that I, from my uh, airbrush booth that I made. Okay, you get a couple of pieces of that, wherever they went. Oh no, there's one anyway. Then, what I did is, when, the, when this was hot, got my other tile, put the tile over the top. We have two of these, two, three, well, more like four, four of them. These are used as spaces. Put one up here, one down the bottom, one up the top, one on the side. Then all we do is we put the clamps on. Put the clamps on here, there, whichever way you want. Then it can only go to this thickness. Whatever thickness you want to go to. Put it along there and then sweep. Everything's falling off. This milk bottle material, <laughs> yes, it's good, but it's slippery. <laughs> or it just might be me, everything just slips off the bench. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm Mr. Bean. <laughs> it's rather fun, actually. <laughs> Mr. Bean's a, a character, isn't he? Oh, anyway, and that's, that's how I made that. Cutting board material. Arrgh! Strong. Ooh. Slight spin the bottle. Ooh. All right, and that's 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 the update. I have seen I have seen some people make these these light plates like this. What they do is they. They put in a sandwich press. Well, you could use a sandwich press. With a sandwich press, it heats up both sides, and they put and they put clamps on it. I've seen that. I'm not sure if I like the like the idea, but since I've got an oven, well, mini toaster oven, then I don't have a problem doing that. I like the tile. The tile's good. My first, my first attempt, mm, not good, break the tile, <laughs> well, not necessarily like that, what I, what I had done is I'd, you know, I'd put this bit, this tile, and I put this tile in the, in the, in the press that I've made, silly me, should have used another, another piece of wood, underneath as a as a press point because instead of taking the load just in this spot should have taken it over the whole area that way it wouldn't have cracked mm, that was a bit of a fail wasn't it yes all right anyway, so lesson learned if you're going to be pressing something don't use a single point of contact because a lot of lot of stress goes into that point there, a lot of pressure, I should say. Then, where can it go? It can go only into the tile, and the tile, since the tile is a is rather a brittle object, it just cracks. Mm. Should have used my thinking cap that day, but oh well. <laughs> These things you learn. All right, broken tile. This is from my bathroom makeover. Well, anyway, the good thing about these little bits here is that you can still use those. What you can do is you can, uh, if you're when you're doing your modelling, you put your bit of super glue on here, or you put your glue on here. Then you get your toothpicks. Then 
then you, then you transfer it to the model. Very good tiles. Then once they're once they're all dirty, bring out your favourite knife and just scrape away. And at the end of it, you have a brand new surface. Just depending on um, on what you're doing. If I was if I was doing glue, I'll put the glue on a bit of glad paper. That way, you can just throw that out. Well, this construction adhesive is quite strong, so you'll have a bit of a time to try and scrape it off the tile, but you can do it. All right. I know. That was one tip anyway. And and that's how I made the um, come up with the flat my flat disc. I could make that it I could use it as a frisbee. Or well, maybe I could uh, cut it make it into a ninja star. Ah. Yes grasshopper, yes grasshopper. Okay. That's it. Bye.